In this tutorial, we will learn about oriented object detection. In usual object detection, bounding box signs are parallel or vertical to signs of an image, but in oriented object detection bounding box signs are rotated. This technique could be useful in various robotics applications. So, what is oriented object detection? There are two methods of object detection. Horizontal detection and rotated detection. Oriented object detection is a variant of rotated detection. It outputs not only bounding box size, but also its rotation amount. Oriented object detection is widely used in inference tasks in aerial images. It is used with military surveillance, traffic planning and in other applications. Let's talk about some oriented object detection features. There are two common representation methods for oriented object detection. The first is five parameter representation. The bounding box is represented by center point coordinates, width, height, and rotation angle theta. The second representation method is eight parameter representation. The bounding box is represented by four vertices. In this tutorial we will use eight parameter representation. Oriented object detection has several challenges that have to be solved. Five parameter representation causes periodicity of angle and exchangeability of edges. Therefore, the model needs to regress the angle with a complicated form at the boundary, which increases the difficulty of predicting the angle and affects the performance of the model. Eight-parameter representation creates ambiguity when defining the bounding box order of the four vertices. Theoretically, there are 24 different representations for a single bounding box, so they also face the problem of border discontinuity. Several algorithms have been proposed to solve this problem. In this tutorial we will use a modified YOLO v5 algorithm. As a base program, we will use this repository. Thanks to author for sharing this great work. If you scroll this page, you can find the basic instructions. Now, let's prepare to run the program. Download the zip file and extract it to your home directory. Move to the scripts directory inside the YOLO v5 OBB package. To install the required libraries, we have to execute the requirements text file. Before executing the requirements text file, install Python 3 pip. PIP is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in Python. After installation of the PIP, execute the requirements text file. Here, they are option means to install from the given requirements file. By executing this command, all required packages to run YOLO will be installed automatically. Now we have to install modules related to rotated detection. Move to the NMS rotated directory. Execute the pip3 install command. Here, v stands for verbose. With this option, the console gives more output. The e option stands for editable and means that pip will install a project in editable mode from a local project path or a VCS URL. The final dot means that pip will execute the setup pi file in the current directory. As you can see, we have successfully installed NMS rotated library. We have one more thing to do. Due to some code changes in the recent versions of the PyTorch, an error occurs during execution of YOLO v5. So, we will make a little modification to the PyTorch code. You can check this issue on this page. We will do code modifications mentioned in this comment. Firstly, 
open your local folder. This is a hidden folder, so check show hidden files checkbox to find it. Now move to the modules directory. Open up sampling pi script. Find line 157. This is the line to comment out. Save the script and close the file manager window. Now we are ready to execute the code. Execute the detect pi script. We are specifying weight, image size, device to do inference and source image file name. Note that image size should be multiple to 32. After inference is done, the results are saved in the detect directory. As we can see, ships are detected correctly. Now we are going to run this program using ROS2. Install the Python 3 Colkin common extensions. Colkin is a command line tool to improve the workflow of building, testing, and using multiple software packages. It automates the process, handles the ordering, and sets up the environment to use the packages. Next, install the ROS Foxy Gazebo ROS packages. This package provides interface for using ROS with the Gazebo simulator. We also have to place Gazebo models to the right folder. Move to the models folder inside the YOLO OBB sim directory. Copy or cut these three models. Go back to the home directory and check the show hidden files checkbox. The gazebo folder should appear. Create a models folder inside the gazebo directory and paste models we have copied. Now let's see the code. Open the ROS detect pi script. Here, we are importing RCL Pi. RCL Pi provides the canonical Python API for interacting with ROS2. In this part we are importing image message type which we will use to define a subscriber. We also import CV Bridge Library, which enables us to do conversions between ROS image messages and open CV images. Note that we have to add the install directory to the Python path. This is required because ROS will look into the install directory to find libraries. Similarly, we define path for weights. Here image size is defined. Here, we are creating a subscriber to camera topic. In this camera callback function, inference task is done every time subscriber receives a new image. The main structure of this code is the same as usual YOLO v5. In this line, 5 parameter representation is converted to 8 parameter representation. In this chunk of the code, bounding box is drawn for each detected object. Now, Let's do the simulation. To build this project, move to the YOLO OBB sim folder and execute Colkin build command. Open new terminal. Update environmental variables using source command. Launch the YOLO bot launch pi script. We have successfully executed inference task using ROS.